How do you actually do what it takes? Only 20% of you will watch the video until the very end, therefore gaining the knowledge on the three simple steps to actually do what it takes. Ironically, the ones who won't finish this video are the ones who need to hear these steps the most. We all have hopes and dreams, but the vast majority of us will come up short when we reach for the stars. But why? Why is it that only a small percent of us get a soar while the rest of us flounder? These are the questions I'm going to answer, and by the end of this video, it's very likely that you're going to realize that you don't actually want to do what it takes. But for the small percent of you that will decide to do whatever it takes to succeed, I'm going to lay out three simple steps that 90% of people overlook that are going to help you reach success. But first, let's establish, what does it mean to do what it takes? It's kind of funny trying to answer the question because the answer is kind of in the question. It's literally doing what it takes. But I guess the real question is, what does doing what it takes looks like? I think a lot of us think we know what it looks like as we all use terms like, I tried my best or I gave it my all. The truth is that you may not have actually given your all. You may think you did, but I wanna challenge you to really ponder about that question and think about, did you actually give it your all? If you look back on your life, I'm sure you can find a more specific example of saying you gave it your all when you didn't actually quite give it your all. Let's just say you're doing push-ups with a friend watching and you had a goal of hitting 20 push-ups. You get to 19 and then you think, I'm done, I can't do any more. Your friend, they see you struggling. They know you're about to quit when they decide to say the infamous line of one more. Suddenly, you feel this surge of energy hit. You were fine letting yourself down, but to let down your friend, that's different. So you push and it burns and this push-up was harder than the last 19 combined, but you do it anyways. Then something amazing happens. You feel overwhelmingly proud of yourself and your friend is also proud of you too. So what's the moral of the story? Sometimes you need an external source to realize your true capabilities. We often underestimate ourselves and I definitely do this too and it's really hard not to, but sometimes you just have to do to realize you're more capable than you think. And even in the event that you fail, you can grow from it and become more capable. But I think there's more to take away from this scenario than just realizing that you're more capable than you think. But it also shows us how crucial it is to have the right people in our lives who can not only help us reach our potential, but reach beyond it. Of course, there's always the opposite being those who will drag you down and they'll make you think less of yourself. So please do yourself a favor and consider if you have the right people and external sources in your life that build you up rather than tearing you down. The story also shows the importance of having motivation. In this case, your friend gave you the motivation as you didn't want to let him down. And that's because they believed in you. Motivation can be found in anything, positive or negative. For example, you have proving people right or alternatively, proving people wrong. You need to find motivation to do and you need to do if you want to succeed. But I'll let you in on a little secret since you made it this far. You can actually do without motivation. And through doing, you can find the motivation to continue to do. So sometimes you just have to do. The last thing I want to touch on revolving around this story is something that I think can be easily overlooked. If you stop doing push-ups at 19 and your goal was 20, then the next time you go to do push-ups, it's likely that your goal is going to be once again to hit 20. But why is this bad, you may ask? It's because the version of you that hit 20 last time is now going to be aiming for 25. Now, realistically, these two are evenly matched in terms of strength, as doing one push-up is not going to make you that much stronger. But what it will do is make you a whole lot stronger mentally as you will not only believe in yourself to hit 20, but to soar beyond that, while the other version of yourself isn't even sure if they can hit 20. And if they do, they'll likely call it quits once they hit 20 because they gave it their all. And this all leads into my next question, which is why is it that only some of us get a soar while others of us flounder? Luckily, we know some of the answer as we literally just talked about it. And that is that some of us are capable of doing what it takes while others of us aren't. But now that you have a rough idea of what it actually means to do what it takes, I think you're ready for the three simple steps, which are going to improve your life greatly if you can just implement them. Throughout these steps, I'm going to be using the example of wanting to become a YouTuber as many people want to be a YouTuber nowadays and I myself of course want to be one too. But feel free to fill it in with any other job or desire that you have as it's pretty universal. Step one, figure out why you want to do this. If I want to become a YouTuber, I'm going to have to beat incredible odds. And throughout my journey, I'm most likely going to have moments where I want to quit. And here is where many people fail. They forget all the reasons as to why they want to be a YouTuber in the first place. For me, I wanted to help people. And I felt that the best way I could do that was through making YouTube videos. These videos are basically me making videos for my past self on things I wish I could have heard when I was younger. I also want to be financially free. And I mean, who doesn't, right? 
I want to be proud of myself and be able to take care of those who've taken care of me. These are just two examples that I personally think about when I feel like quitting that motivate me to keep going. I mean, this entire channel was started because I made a mind map and through that mind map, I realized that doing YouTube was a way to not only help people, but possibly help myself. Step two, be prepared to not be rewarded for your work. This step arguably i would say it's the hardest step and it's one that i struggle with myself just like working out youtube takes time before you see progress yes you see the outliers here and there but realistically you have to prepare to put in hours of work and not be rewarded for it as i said before i want to help people and be financially free but when i put in hours of work for a video that gets basically no views how do you think I feel? It's absolutely soul crushing when you put in all that effort and you're neither really helping people or helping yourself. So naturally you start thinking, what's the point? So what is the point? My videos don't reach people and I'm not making any money off of them. So why bother? Step three, do it anyways. By doing it anyways and not giving up, you're giving yourself the chance to improve. And that's what you gotta do, improve each and every day. And eventually you will become that person who's worthy of soaring. Doing it anyways doesn't just mean doing it even though you're not getting rewarded for it. It also means doing things outside of your comfort zone. You have to be willing to fail, willing to be judged, willing to feel stupid, willing to feel uncomfortable. But who cares? Do it anyways. Like I promised, I laid out three simple steps to actually do what it takes. Although simple on paper, we all know that it's not that easy. And I never promised it would be easy. It's simple, but it's not easy. You're going to have times where you bargain with yourself to not do what it takes. Only those of you who actually follow these three steps, never having your determination waver. You are the ones who are going to soar. And unfortunately, it's most likely that most of you won't do it. But let it be known that I believe in you. And I'm willing to be that person who says one more. If you enjoyed this video, I think you'll really enjoy my last video on how to be better and the next video I'm working on which is how to feel like a kid again.